नमस्कार आई एम योर होस्ट नारायण कर फ्रेंड्स ऑन मे ट्वेल्व आई हैड रिटर्न अ पीस इन इंडिया स्पीक्स डेली हेडलाइंड वाई अरब नेशंस आर नॉट ब्रीदिंग फायर ओवर इजरेली अटैक्स on gaza i had given reasons for this and uh, one of the main reasons i had enlisted was the changed geopolitical concerns of uh, israel and arab nations i had said that common enemy of israel and arabs uh, is iran because Iran is supporting Houthis a Shia community in Yemen to overthrow Sunni ruled country which is the neighboring countries of uh, Saudi Arabia down south likewise Iran is also supporting Shias in Bahrain uh, which is governed by in yet another sunni government and bahrain remember uh, is the bahrain is actually a stooge company a stooge country of uh, saudi arabia which is uh, situated in, in the eastern borders of saudi arabia so the arab nations are concerned about the hegemonic uh, desire ambitions of uh, iran in uh, the bordering uh, bordering countries of uh, saudi arabia in eastern part and also in southern part and as we all know israel is uh, israel is hostile to iran because iran has always been supporting the terror organizations like uh, hamas therefore i had reasoned that the arab nations are not breathe will not breathe fire against uh, israel for countering the attacks launched by the hamas on the citizens of uh, israel and today i was not at all surprised uh that the united arab emirates has threatened to stop its infrastructure and investments in the territory of gaza they clearly told the uh, they clearly told hamas to stop the violence or the fight Uh, against israel and uh, reach a ceasefire agreement with israel if not they are going to stop the infrastructure and investments in gaza and one of the proposals was uh, one of the projects or proposals was set to be related to energy now this is very important to understand that uh, palestinians suffer from dilapidated uh, power infrastructure normally the citizens get 16 hours of power supply but after the fighting began they are getting just 5 hours of power supply and you can imagine what uh, the conditions would be if there are no fire no power supplies uh in terms of military operations if uh, israel decides to barge into gaza strip just imagine a country not having electricity uh, it will be a total chaos and uh, advantages advantage to uh, israel the lack of electricity in gaza is partially due to israel's uh, closure of kerem shalom crossing 
uh, through which Gaza re receives most of its fuel. And also amidst all this power shortages uh, and uh, people are also saying the media reports are, all, are also claiming that uh, the citizens of Gaza would soon also face water shortages and power cuts of course. So the situation is going is moving from bad to worse for the Gaza citizens and uh, this also comes amidst uh, in February the United Arab Emirates had uh, substantially cut funding for the UN agency for Palestinian refugees following their normalization with Israel under the US presidency of Donald Trump. So the purpose of this video was to just make a statement that I was not surprised by the threatening of uh, UAE to stop investments and uh, uh, implementing infrastructure projects in the territory of Gaza. Thanks for watching this video. Jai Hind, Vandemat.